were trying to take the lead that he did. And how disappointing is it to have it end like this? I mean, it's, it's real disappointing. You know, we went out this week of practice. I didn't think we practiced that well. So, you know, you can't really be disappointed at the outcome. I mean, we had a lot of distractions in the locker room this week. I just think that it played a role in our focus. How does that happen with everything you guys had to play for? I mean, the guys we've been having, these guys, I mean, we, we, we've been losing lately. The last three or four years, these are the same guys that, you know, that were on those losing teams. I'm not going to say we don't know how to win, but, you know what I mean, the mentality of, of, of a championship team, I think, it is, in a, is in a work in progress. Hey, going forward after this game, how do you regroup, you know, knowing that first place might be a little bit of a long shot? We do a great job of bouncing back from a, from a loss, especially a loss like this. I mean, you know, those guys, we hate losing. And the attitude in the locker room right now is at halftime, yeah, we all quiet. You know, those guys hate losing. This week, I think, we're going to be a great week of practice. And we're just going to go full speed and come out next week and just try to execute. When you've got Pine Bluff putting up as many points as fast as they did, what's it like for you on offense trying to keep up with them as the league keeps growing? Honestly, I think we moved the ball well. I mean, we got to the red zone numerous amount of times, but we just didn't put the ball in. I mean, with the team scoring that, like they did, we, it, it's punctual that we score every time that we get the ball. So I think as far as moving the ball up and down the field, we did a great job. But as far as putting the ball in the end zone, you know, we only had 21 points. So. Did you feel pressure mounting you know, each time you put it back to them in the first half? They, they scored. They got I mean, a touchdown. From the sideline, you know, as a quarterback leader of the team, you don't want to be like, all right, well, we in trouble. You know, so I just try to keep a positive mind state and just, just go out and try to execute, just try to perform. It's a little frustrating to have some drops and key drives where uh, Charles had a chance to catch a touchdown and drop the next pass after that. You just felt like that was the type of night you were all going to Yeah, we had a few drops, but you know, he came back and caught a touchdown. He knew he was leading the game. Like I always say, those guys, they drop balls, but those are the same guys that make big catches for them. So I'll continue to throw them the ball, and, you know, they'll continue to catch it. Can you talk about what happened on the interception? Man, uh, number 25, Ross, he's a great linebacker. Uh, he's leading the swag and tackle, you know, and scouting report, great guy. Uh, we ran a Texas route, which is a halfback angle, and... Really and truly, I don't think nobody else is over. My first read is the running back, and my second read was the tight end streaking up the middle. But <clears throat> the Sam linebacker, he walled, he walled the, uh, the tight end off, so I couldn't make that through. And then I threw the Texas route late, which allowed you know the Mike Bagger to pick it off and, and score. And I think that played a major role in our tempo and our whole attitude, too. Those things, you know, are causing. Did you see him? He just kind of fly in. I mean, I was looking to my right, so him being a Mike linebacker, he was he was in the middle of the field. But that's a throw that, you know, in practice, it, it's always there. So, you know, those type of things, it's just, just an in-game adjustment. And I just think that, you know, lack of focus at that time, it happens. Trey, you talk about focus and having a, minute, a winning mindset. You come from a, a pretty successful background of playing at West St. John. How do you try to, you know, bring that in and instill that in your team yourself going forward from this point, even with not necessarily to win the swag and, and play? I mean, believe it or not, the nucleus of the team, I think we all came from winning programs. Like, for instance, Virgil Williams, he came from Evangel. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that, like, as a team, we have to come together as one. I think we did a great job of that after the reassignment of Coach Mitchell. And you can tell, like, that one spark just just banded us together as brothers, and that allowed us to go out and just started having fun when we played the game. I think guys, you know, sometimes guys go out and play tight, and that 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 enables them to make mistakes. And of course, the defense, you know, Michael Bell hurt, Levi Jackson hurt. Those guys, you know, they they make big plays off. I mean, defensively, with the tackle, in a run game and in a passing game. So, with those guys being out, you know, it, it's kind of tough on the defense. So it made it, it made our load on the offense, you know, heavier. Dre, how would the offense and you and yourself would try to refocus for next week against Prairie? 
I mean, when you look at the film, when we look at the film, I'm sure we're gonna find some good things that we did, you know? And then from then we're just gonna build on that. You just gotta always go out and just try to do your best. And the defense, they did a great job of, um, you know, stopping some of our players, some of our main players that we like to run numerous amounts of times in the game. I think they did a good job of you know, kind of keeping that contained. But I think as, as we watch the film on Prairie View, you know, we'll be to see what they do good and what, what they do bad and just try to take what we do good and exploit what they do bad. Dre, the, the, the injuries on the offensive line continue to mount up on you. Do you feel like it's, it's added pressure to you to go out and make a play? You feel that pressure in game? No. I mean, the whole old line, they work hard. In practice, they sub in and out, so I'm comfortable with those guys being out there, regardless of who it is. Besides, I'm, I'm a chunky guy, so you know, I, <laughs> I kind of take the hits and kind of bounce off them. Thank you, kiddo. All right, thanks, Thanks, Ray. Appreciate that. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate it.